great to have Dr. David Holcomb back with us, the Regional Medical Director. He's got a lot of things to talk about this morning. He this absolutely morning. does. David, okay. welcome back. Good to have you. Where do you want to start? Okay. <laughs> start at the top of the stack. Top of the stack. Okay. <laughs> the top of the stack is they, they did the county health rankings right. recently, and that's Robert Wood Johnson Foundation. And what they do is they rank all the parishes in Louisiana, 1 to 64, about their health outcomes. Mm -hmm. And so uh, every year we give a report to central Louisiana about where we're stacking up. And, you know, our region is eight parishes, and so we have some bright spots and we have some not so <laughs> bright spots. Okay. T tell us about it. Well, the, our, the, the two uh, parishes that do very, very well, there, I think one's 11th and one's 12th or 13th, mm -hmm. are um, Vernon and LaSalle. Mm -hmm. And those, uh, the, the base plays a big role in that because there's a large national population out there. It's not, you know, local people necessarily. Mm -hmm. And then Vernon uh, has a very low uh, number of low socioeconomic uh, citizens. Mm -hmm. And so it's kind of a little island there. Mm -hmm. And then you have Rapids, Grant, and Wynn, which fall sort of in the middle. And we're in the 30s, so we're just about in the middle. Yeah. And then you have our eastern parishes, which are Catahoula, Concordia, and Avoyles, which are normally in the 50s, mm. up, you know, almost mm -hmm. to 59, mm -hmm. um, have a lot of health issues still. Mm. What does the state do about this? I mean, how, does, how do we address this? Well, it provides an opportunity not only for the state, but for the parishes to, to, you know, if we've got health problems, let's, you know, see what we can do about the resources and so forth. But the, the Office of Public Health actually has a new center for uh, public health information, which allows us to go down to neighborhood levels. So you can actually target specific neighborhoods where those outcomes are less satisfactory. Mm -hmm. It's not in this particular report, but uh, for instance, in, we can do it in, in Alexandria and find out exactly where we have higher rates of infant mortality, of low graduation rates, of mm -hmm. uh, elevated STD rates, of all that sort of thing. So yeah. we can actually target individuals, resource, not individuals, but communities and resources. But you know, it is unfortunate because health care is available to everyone. It is, but what happens is if you're in an environment where there's, uh, you can't go to a grocery store, mm -hmm. where there's only convenience stores selling alcohol, mm -hmm. where there's a lot of crime, where there's poor, you know, the schools have poor outcomes, mm -hmm. a lot of uh, family issues and all that, mm -hmm. what you're creating is essentially a bad barrel. And bad barrels always produce bad apples. Mm -hmm. Not always, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. so you have to concentrate on the on the global environment there, which is sometimes just a neighborhood, sometimes a community, sometimes a whole parish. But um, it's how do you think these neighborhoods will be targeted, or how will they be serviced? Well, um, first of all, there. I mean, just an example. <clears throat> the you know we're having these fresh markets and so forth. Yeah. They're going to have a mm -hmm. farmers market, and part of that's going to be a mobile food truck. Well, that mobile food truck can actually go to neighborhoods that are food deserts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if you have, uh, you know, uh, public relations type things, um, you can actually put them more in neighborhoods where there's more of a problem mm -hmm. and, and, you know, put the resources where the problems are. And hopefully that will you know, change the needle there. The unfortunate thing is that Louisiana as a state has been 48th or 49th, once 47th for the, since 1990. That's a long time. Yeah, long time. And lots of resources, lots of smart people have worked mm -hmm. on this. A lot of money's been spent. But we just can't seem to move that needle. Yeah, right. still sitting yeah. in the no barrel. Yeah. What other information did you bring? Well, this is, uh, uh, actually, they wanted topic. me to talk about childhood immunizations. <laughs> this is Childhood Immunization Week. Right, and, right. Um, and, you know, we have actually pretty good rates here. Mm -hmm. um, we're always fighting against, you know, sort of the uh, notion that, that you can get diseases from mm -hmm. vaccines and so forth. And that's not true. And there was actually an article in the Wall Street Journal today that had a huge study that showed mm -hmm. there's no relationship between autism mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. vaccines. Mm -hmm. And we do encourage people to follow the, the regular regimens for this. And what mm -hmm. happens is sometimes families, you know, parents may go and say, I just want them to get two shots and not four <laughs> shots or six <laughs> shots or whatever. Mm -hmm. And generally the, um, the pediatricians will accommodate the parents but you really shouldn't do that mm -hmm. because what it does is it puts you out of step with the uh, other children and, and the requirements. Even, and very recently, we had a case where we had to check everybody in a school for mm -hmm. their vaccination. The health, health, health outcomes in Louisiana, is this information available on a web? 
page? Yes, if you go to countyhealthrankings.org, mm -hmm. or just you put county health rankings, it's all there. Okay. I mean, they have a lot of information. Gotcha. And state health rank, America health ranking, America's health rankings will give you Louisiana's compared to other states. Okay. Terrific. Dr. Holcomb, thank you so much Love for coming in. Yeah, we'll, have yes. to, we'll have to have him back. Absolutely. So, we didn't Absolutely. even get to the bottom of the pile. And we you're going to have not. to step up on the shoes. Yeah. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. My wardrobe. Yeah. yeah. It is what it is. Yeah. It is what it is. <laughs> Crossroads Riding Center coming up. Stay with us.